Welcome to the Tennis Warehouse Racket Review of the Dunlop CX200. For 2024, Dunlop reshapes its classic CX200 with a new frame mold. The update features a more box beam shape below the 10 2 axis for enhanced stability, control, and feel. Other changes include Power Grid String Tech Plus for wider cross string spacing for spin and power. The racket remains a great option for intermediates with its 98 square inch head size. This racket, like the previous versions, was just really fun to hit with. From the court, I thought this racket was really, really easy to swing and to generate racket head speed with. And because of the open string pattern, I was able to generate a lot of spin on my ground strokes. I um, also really like this racket on the run and on those kind of flick shots where the, the ball is hit at my feet. I just felt like it was really easy to just kind of flick my wrist and get the ball going where I need it to go. I um, also was really pleasant, pleasantly surprised uh, with how much I liked it on my backhand slice. Uh, typically rackets that have such a low swing weight like this one, I struggle getting the ball to knife and to stay low, but that wasn't the case here. And like the, with the previous version, I really liked the feel of this racket. It has kind of a more traditional feel, a little bit more flexy, and I felt really well connected to my shots. The one downside for me here is that the racket doesn't offer a lot of free power. I felt like I really had to swing out on a lot of my ground strokes to, to hit wind and to be very aggressive with. I also felt like I wasn't hitting the biggest serves on it, but I, I was very effective with just hitting a nice slice shot with it. Overall, a really fun play test for me. I think this racket does a lot of things well. It's also very customizable, and I think it's a hidden gem of 2024. Did someone say box beam? Because if so, sign me up for that play test. I love the box beam shape. It just has this feel that I, I don't know, it has that classic feel that I know and love. And I really liked how this one swung through the air. It's very headlight, so it was very easy to swing from the baseline. And I was getting easier depth and uh, net clearance than I would expect from such a control-oriented racket. This racket isn't delivering loads of free power, but I like that for my game because when I get tight, I can't be relied on to make the ball in and I need some help in that arena. And that's why I like the little bit uh, more control oriented, a little less powerful response off the string bed. At net, I really liked again how mobile this one was. For me, that is really key. So I didn't have any issues getting it into position. On serve, I did also like how quickly it was moving overhead. I could hit nice spin there. This is one area where I was wishing maybe a little bit more weight in the head to help me when I was getting tight to just pull through that shot and get a little bit better uh, penetration with my shot. Overall, I really like this update. It's very comfortable. I felt consistent and confident playing on the court with this one. That's just our thoughts out here in California on this Dunlop CX200. Next, we're gonna check in with our play testers in Georgia. Anna, how did this racket work for you? Thank you, Tiffany. I gotta start by saying that this new version of the Dunlop CX200 is the perfect option for those heavy hitters that are looking to take a big swing at the ball and still feel control and precise and enter into the court without any hesitation and being super aggressive. From the start, I felt connected for both my ground strokes, forehands and backhands. I felt like I could hit the ball anywhere in the court and I was hitting it with a lot of precision and control. I do gotta say, however, it did not offer much free power. I really had to step into the ball and accelerate to actually get a deeper aggressive ball and not only that I also had it was a little bit more physically demanding um, my arm I got a little tired there towards the end well I do tend to look for rackets that give me lots of control when I'm stepping into that ball I do would have preferred for the racket to have a little bit more weight towards the hand that way it was less effort for me to keep the ball deep and staying aggressive but on the other hand I do gotta say that the racket was super maneuverable I was ready to get in position super quickly and I was rarely late to hit the ball I gotta say that my two favorite shots with this rackets were my back and slice and volleys on my back and slice I felt like I could get behind the ball and play a low fast precise ball and on my volleys I wasn't afraid to step in and take the ball super aggressive and finish the point quickly. Overall, I think this is actually a great racket for the player that is looking to take a big swing at the ball with a low power control frame. If you're looking for a more control-oriented, classic feeling racket, the new Dunlop CX200 will be a great option for you. When I first picked up this racket, I quickly realized just how low-powered it was actually on the baseline, and that to get the most out of this uh, frame, I really had to swing through my shots and really commit to them uh, just to really get that uh, power and depth that I was looking for. But honestly, I didn't mind how the racket was low-powered itself because I do like to hit the balls really hard. I actually had a lot of fun just committing to my shots and hitting them as hard as I could on court. I especially enjoyed the new Dunlop CX200 on slices. I really thought I had a great response from the frame and my balls were sitting nice and low. 
Uh, so definitely a great control-oriented racket here. I also think that this racket is great for customization. Personally, I would like to add a bit more weight to the racket head just to make it a bit more stable because I did notice that on certain shots, uh, the racket head got pushed around a bit, especially when I was playing against heavier hitting opponents. But like I said, the racket is perfect for customization. And if you add a couple grams to the racket head, I think the stabilization issue will be solved. Also, I would like to add that I did miss a bit of spin. I realized that I had to make a conscious effort getting under the ball and generate that spin uh, for my shots. The record did not really help me uh, too much with that, so that's just something to keep in mind. All in all, I think the new Dunlop CX200 has a lot of potential, and control-oriented players should definitely give this one a go. Thanks for watching. We strung up this Dunlop CX200 with Black Widow and other various Dunlop strings at around 52 pounds. For more information on this racket and any others, please go check out Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.